So, welcome back to the Toya B channel. It's me, of course, Toya B. I am, um, this is video number two. Now, my plan was to review Popeye's so-called awesome chicken that's winning over Chick-fil-A, which I've never had the Chick-fil-A one, honestly. To be honest, I'm not a really big, huge fan of that. I'm like, people are like, oh, who doesn't like Chick-fil-A? There's a few things, but I'm not just entirely sold. I am more of a Popeye's fan, so of course, I really wanted to try this chicken sandwich. Mines were too long, they were running out of chicken, and it just honestly really, really wasn't worth it enough, or maybe it was, and I missed out on it. Who knows, and maybe they'll bring it back, and I'll find out. Until then, I uh, found the recipe online for do-it-yourself Popeye's chicken sandwich, so I'm gonna see how that's gonna go today. So that's what I'm just gonna do a video on myself. I'm just gonna make it myself, and see if I can make it good enough to I feel like it probably tastes like it came from Popeye's and we're gonna see how that works out okay so here are our ingredients for it I'm definitely gonna put a list on there um <clears throat> try to find the pickles they were sweet and kind of like already cut up but couldn't so I'm gonna do it myself and cut them myself um Please do not judge my Red Hot. It was on Manager Special, all about saving a buck. Um, I will definitely, like I said, put a list of the ingredients and kind of how to put them together because I'm just going to mix them up just to save time and whatnot. Um, and here we go. All right, so for our buttermilk batter, we're going to put a little salt in here. Not too much. We don't want to overdo it. Garlic powder. Not too much. Okay. And then we're going to put our ground black pepper. Come on. There we go. There you go. Hmm. Maybe a little more. There we go. And then a little hot sauce. And then I don't even want to use this anymore. I'm gonna use whisk And then over here to our batter batter, we're well, not batter, my bad, to our, no, that is the batter, I'm tripping. All right. I'm supposed to put some cornstarch in here. Let's see. We're going to put just... Looks like about a cup in the do it yourself video. Okay, so in here goes. Our salt. And then same thing kind of with the other. I paprika. And a little bit of black pepper. Not too much. Um, our 
garlic powder. Mm-mm, it smells so good already, kind of. A little cayenne pepper. Ooh, it's going to be spicy. Mm-mm-mm. I think I put everything in here. And then a little bit of secret sauce with this buttermilk. Conjunction over here. We're supposed to take some of this and drizzle it over here and here. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some of this and just, you know what? That's not going fast enough for my liking. So I'm gonna get. do the little marinade sauce a little later but this is my chicken so what I did with my chicken was I took probably like four nice sized pieces of like boneless chicken breast of course and then I pounded them out to make them a little thinner then I cut them in half so of course it makes about eight good pieces of chicken sandwiches so we're gonna start by removing this out of the way for maybe later here. And now I'm going to go and preheat my stove right quick. All right, so we've got our stove getting ready to receive this awesomeness. It's gonna be this chicken sandwich. I'm a pretty good cook, just on my own. So, hoping, I'm sure this recipe is gonna turn out good, no matter what. So, what I was told is we dip it in this. Oops. And we, no, that probably wasn't the smartest. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I swear it's this pepper. I just put like two or three different kinds of pepper in here. My goodness. Oh, there we go. Sorry, my bad, bad camera job. I'm just trying to get it up close for you guys. Instead of using like the tripod, which is so much harder in my life. And I'm gonna leave this here. Um, set this down. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put this together and put this out over there. much for this pork. I'm not going to use it anymore. I'm just going to stick with my little tongs. I like these better. And then we're supposed to dip it again. And then dip it again in the flour. Boy. So two amigo. in the fire of goodness. Mm -hmm. Not the prettiest, but it shall do the job. And let me go and All right. 
I did not think of it. A another pan. Hold on a second. All right, and we're back with an extra pan to put her battered chicken. That is being super difficult right now. Whatever, we'll do with you later. other chicken and we're gonna do this for another three patties to go right, guys after much mess and a little bit of mayhem we're going to put our chicken in the fryer yes I'm wearing gloves because no one likes to get burned and one thing, I'm not a fan of frying, honestly, but I don't like being burned. And who does? Somebody. Not me. So, I'm gonna make this. Oh, go on. It's a little difficult. Uh, this hasn't been easy. Here, struggling. I do this with one handed, but also so you guys can see the gloriness of it more up front and up close. Last one. Now, this is only supposed to cook for like five minutes. So I'm going to hurry up and get the stuff ready for that. You can we see that. Ooh, look at that. It's already pretty and good. Mmm. Beautiful. Woohoo! That is look at how beautiful and cold it looks. I'm really about to check them out anyway. Um, but they cook a lot faster than I expected them to. And I don't want them to burn. Especially not my first go around. And to him, he's already looking kind of crispy there. So one more little minute, 30 seconds, just to make sure they're all good. But you don't want to be sick, of course. Uh, this happened so fast, I didn't even get a chance to put my fries on yet, guys. This is ridiculous. Mmm, look at that. So nice and golden. Alright, another like 20 seconds. And we'll be ready. I'm gonna take the beauty back. Oh, that's a small one. Kids can have that one. Every morning I'm ready to go. I'm just spinning grease today. 